Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Abdullahi Musa. In this series of videos, I'm going to do a full course on the spectra analysis of aeromagnetic data sheet 08 Kanu State, Nigeria for geothermal energy potential. Actually, this course is two in one. One you will, in this course, you are going to learn how to carry out special analysis and at the same time how to use the spectral analysis to delineate uh, geomagnetic potential areas of this study area that covers the data sheet 08. The course materials can be downloaded through this link or you can also check in the description of the video. So throughout this course, these are the following things will be required. The software is QGIS, any version, OIS montage from version 6 and above. Google Art Pro is also free, you can get it online. And Sofa from version 13 and above. But in this course, I'm using Sofa version 13, but any version can do. Then, aeromagnetic data sheet, you can either use a ground magnetic or aero. Or in this course, I'm going to provide you with uh, three aeromagnetic sheets. Of whom, of which if, uh, we use one of the sheet to, to do this analysis. The remaining others you can try it and see. So you can check the link in the description of the video. And also, I need time, uh, and also need your time and commitment. Because this is going to be a full course, I expected you to follow it step by step and also follow along if possible, to get the actual data sheet I'm using, which is 08, which you can find through this link, or you can check in the description of the video. So let's look at the theoretical background. Actually, there is connection between magnetic survey and that of geothermal energy, which you know is the energy taken from the earth core, which can power us its turbine and generate renewable energy in form of electric uh, to generate which is also a, a renewable form of energy which passes through a turbines and then convert it to electrical energy this heat originates from the center of the core and temperature decreases down towards the surface of the earth and that is around the lithosphere as you go deep, deep deep into the earth the temperature increases the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. And this high temperature melts down rocks and therefore form what we call a magma. When this magma cools down, they form rocks. And most of the minerals are constrained of, uh, of uh, rocks. And most of these minerals are also magnetic in the sense that they have these magnetic properties below what is called a Curie, the Curie point temperature, which is the temperature at which material loses its ability to, uh, which is loses ability to acquire permanent magnetic. That means it's a temperature above which the, mag the, the material will no longer be having the magnetic properties to be able to respond to magnetic field. So we are seeing that in the outer core, in the mantle and the inner core, you don't expect to have minerals there because the temperature is so high above the Kiru temperature and the Kiru temperature is around 550 and 580 degrees celsius so within the lithosphere around this side you can see that is where actually we'll be focusing on minerals and that is the connection between magnetic method and that of uh, geothermal energy so the Kiru temp uh, Kiru point temperature we say is the temperature at which material loses its ability to acquire permanent magnetization. Then the Kiru point depth is the depth at which the upper li lithospheric rocks in the lower crust and, and in some cases the upper mantle reaches the Kiru point. So so that is from there then from the Kiru depth they will talk of the the derivative of it which changes at at, at any point on the earth surface as you go down. Then there's a changing of temperature. Then the changes of this, actually, the Curie depth, the changes of this Curie depth as you go down is what is called the, the geothermal gradient. Then from there we get the the heat flow, 
we'll talk much about this when we come into the interpretation because the cause it's not only going to be analysis we are going to, we are also going to do analysis and at the same time do the interpretation so when we come to the interpretation then we are going to come back to this so that we're able to do a better interpretation by looking at the theoretical background we have so far so we are going to come back to this by the time we finish the analysis of the old course then when we start doing the interpretation then we'll come back to this and look at, uh, and have a look at it so this is actually the study area that covers that data sheet 08 so this so in this course we are going to create this map from step by step from the beginning from the scratch okay so this is nigeria the map of nigeria showing kanu state and this is kanu state showing the study area and this is the study area there are some water bodies railways primary rules, secondary, tertiary rules, and the study area boundary, the scale bar, and the rest. As you can see, it was prepared by me. So this is a study area. We're going to create this in this course from the beginning using QGIS, Google, Art Pro, and that of OIS Montage. So these are some of the results of the analysis. Total magnetic intensity map, the residual intensity map, the regional intensity map, the, so these are the 16 spectra blocks map for the spectra analysis so the whole grid is divided into 16 we're going to see in this course how to do this this splitting of this into 16 and, the, and this is the result of the spectra analysis of all the 16 blocks these are the latitude and longitude the depth to data sources with z naught the depth to shallow with z subscript t and the kilo depth which is obtaining from these two, which we'll see. Then we come uh, well, by the time we reach that point. Then the geothermal gradient, which is the T change is D. Then the heat flow given by this. So in this course, we are going to see how to come up with this table, how to fill all the blank spaces. So, so these are the result of each of the sixteen block. This is block one from where the slope is obtained, where we're able to get the depth. To the deeper sources and that of the blue are the shallow sources as you can see is block one block two block three block four block five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then what sixteen and each of these we are going to see how the the depth is 0 0.3 kilometers and the shallow depth here is this we're going to see how to come about this how to do all this analysis and from that uh, spectra blocks come up with the depth to the deeper sources which you can see and the depth to the shallow sources also which is in kilometers the kilo point depth also is in kilometer ranges from 0 0.2 to 4 if we go back to the shallow, the depth to the shallow sources range from 0 0.4 kilometers to around 0 0.3 meters. And the geothermal gradient map, which is in degree Celsius per kilometers, as you can see the map. Then finally, the heat flow map, which is in milliwatt per meter square. That is, that is heat flow. And this, with this, we can able to delineate areas where there is high potential of geothermal energy or whether the whole area is feasible for geothermal energy or not based on the result of this analysis when we come to the interpretation we are going to see that now let's go back to desktop and try to see first let me open OS montage to see all the results this is the residual this is the TMI the regional these are the blocks map block one is 10 so these are the various blocks we have yeah as you can see all these are the blocks spectra blocks then the, uh, the tmi map is this the residual is this and the regional is this so all these things we're going to see how to do this one from scratch now let me open the software software this is the deeper sources plot 
these are for the shallow sources this is the curie depth the geothermal gradient and finally the heat flow all this we are going to see how to do this one from scratch and thirdly the the QGIS and this is where we are going to create the map from scratch as you can see I created this one from scratch we're going to see these are the various layers we have from study area roots down to NGA admin one so we're going to do this one from scratch so so that is what we are going to to have we're going to do this one from scratch so in this course I have said this is the materials for the project resources so the grid files are this which I, which I said there is link in the description of the video you can click you can have a copy of this so we actually it's three this is what we are going to be used and this is the specs file for all the grids so we are going to use this in your own so you, so you need to have this one so that we can follow along so that if you have any questions any comment so that I can able to see how far you have gone or where I can come in to help after you've done with this that you can try these other ones and also do kind of geothermal energy um stuff here using spectral analysis and that is for the grids and for the shape files we need this one in order to come up with the study map area of any area within nigeria so if you have this one you can be able to create any study area whether you are doing uh, geophysical and um, you are doing magnetic survey or electrical survey or gravity survey or any other this with this one you can be able to draw all everything you have so is the, the, there is a link there in the description of everything so if i go there let me see go back to let me open a project the qgs nigerian share files as you can see these are the share files actually Nigeria is showing all the states then this is uh, showing all the local government and this showing all the words then this is a shape file showing all the the names of the words in Nigeria shape file for water bodies this is a shape file for the rivers the shape file for the, the railways, the major roads, and as well as the minor roads. So this, uh, all this is going to make available to you by clicking the link in the description of the video. You have access to this. So once you click on that, then you will take into this. So from here. With, with, a li with a little token of uh, with, with a very small token of five dollar at least you can able to have access to this when you click on this you can see them here where you can download the nigerian shape files the state local government words and also the three magnetic data sheet which you can use so that you can follow along so that is what you have to do so it's something that you have to be able to follow along step by step so you don't have to skip any video once we start releasing the other part of the video of the series of the videos so if you have any questions any comment please you can write them in the description below and also don't forget to to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking subscribe so that when the next video comes up in this series you'll be get notified so you can click here to subscribe then from there you now hit the notification board so once you subscribe you sign in you subscribe and it in so that you get notified anytime i release new videos so that's all for this video